Brad Pitt will be working again with his ex-wife Jennifer Aniston when they appear at an upcoming live table read of the hit 1982 comedy Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Pitt, 56, and Jimmy Kimmel, 52, were the newest additions announced Monday for the all-star lineup, which marks the first time Brad will have worked with Aniston since 2001. Among the other celebrities joining the nostalgia exercise are Julia Roberts, Matthew McConaughey, Shia LaBeouf, Morgan Freeman, Henry Golding, Dane Cook, and Sean Penn, who rose to fame with his role in the original hit film. The live event will stream on the Facebook and TikTok accounts of Penn's organization Core on August 21 at 8 p.m. ET and 5 p.m. PST. Fans can also stream the feed on LiveX Live where they'll be able to donate to CORE and other organizations currently battling the coronavirus pandemic. Cook, who's appearing in the read, will also present the reading. On behalf of our dedicated team at CORE, I'm so appreciative of the support Dane has given and continues to give to our work, Penn wrote in a press release. I'm always game for a giggle. So to gather remotely for a night of laughs with so many talented folks while providing Cora with much-needed resources to continue our vital work, then consider us fully on board to play. Penn has stayed mum on which character he'll play in the table read, though he has confirmed he won't be reprising his star-making turn as Jeff Spicoli. Though Pitt famously made a guest appearance on Friends in 2001, a year into his marriage with Aniston, the two have rarely worked together on screen or in film-related projects. Following the end of the Tree of Life actor's engagement to Gwyneth Paltrow, Brad and the Friends star, 51, struck up a relationship in 1998. The two tied the knot in Malibu in July 2000, but they announced plans to separate by early 2005, and he later remarried to Angelina Jolie. Despite the circumstances, the former couple have maintained a friendship throughout the years, though it seemed to have strengthened recently. Last year, Pitt made an unexpected appearance at Aniston's 50th birthday celebration, where the two had a genial chat. Aniston had invited him, and the two reportedly had a significant chat, though she cut it short to allow other guests to spend time with her. In January of this year, the two had another rendezvous at the Screen Actors Guild Awards, where Pitt took home the trophy for Best Supporting Actor for his acclaimed role in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. His speech included a joke about playing a guy who doesn't get along with his wife, which got a big round of applause and some cheering from Aniston in the audience. When Aniston won her own award for her role in The Morning Show, her ex-husband paused backstage to watch her acceptance speech on a monitor, which she later called sweet while speaking with Extra TV. The two shared a sweet moment of congratulations later in the evening when they bumped into each other backstage. 